Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the Ajumpung family and we make vlogs about our life in Ghana. Very good, Sophie Jane. And today we are in Kumase at the Minsha Palace Museum. And we're going to take you inside and try to get some information which we can use to everybody to understand something about our rich culture from the Ashanti. I hope to get as much as possible because know that you can't film inside. So let's get inside. We're going to have a conversation with my brother. A champon. A champon. Ah, yeah. you're also a champon. Yes, I'm also a champon. Yeah, my name is also a champon. And the same name, brothers. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, thanks. Okay, so please, can you tell me something more about this museum? Yes, uh, the museum was established in 1995 in the commemoration of the 25th anniversary of the 15th king. 15th? The 15th king, Okay. II. Okay. But this building was built by the British. Mm. In 1924, to compensate the 13th Asante Premier the first, mm -hmm. he was the one who was exiled for 28 years by the British. First, they took him to Elimina Castle, Sierra Leone. Finally, ended up in Seychelles. So, in Seychelles Island, he spent 24 years. 24, 24 wow. years. That's long. And uh, he returned in 1924. And this burden was offered to him by the British to compensate the king. On his return from exile, but the Asante people rejected the offer as a compensation. They paid for it before they allowed the king to use the building in 1925. Wow. And three kings have lived here from 1925 to 1974. Later, it was converted to a palace museum mm -hmm. by the 15th king, Otunfo Opokowai II. So, this building or this museum is 25 years. And in August 12, 2020, the museum celebrated its 25 years anniversary. Uh -huh. And a lot of things are in the Palace Museum. We have drums, the talking drum for sending message in the past. That was in the olden days, there was no radio stations and newspapers. So it was the talking drum they were using to send message. The sound travels seven miles radius. And every seven miles radio, there yeah. was a drummer who was stationed to another seven miles radio to relay to another seven miles radio. So really, so the way of communication was by drums yes and then there was somebody stationed yes. somebody played it here seven miles further they can still hear it yes. and then they communicate further of course okay okay so every seven miles radio the drama will relate to another seven miles radio mm -hmm. then so within few minutes this message was sent across the entire kingdom for everybody to hear it's just the sound of it when yeah. you hear the sound just come closer to where the drum is beating then when you come the king will tell us what is happening if it is war then we will organize ourselves and group ourselves in flanks yes. and we go for war. So when you enter the museum, we have a lot of effigies. Effigies of the kings who live in the museum, Premper the first, Premper the second, who lived the palace for 39 years, from 1931 to 1970. We also have the queen of the Asante. Her name was called Nana Ama Sewanya, who was the sister to Premper the She was the sister to, to Premper the second. And he also lived the palace from 1945 to 1977. And here, one thing you have to take note is that the king and the queen are not husband and wife. I just wanted to ask you because you said sister and brother, yes. but the brother is king and the sister is, is the queen. queen. Okay. Not necessarily the brothers and sister, but they can be yeah. brothers and sister, mother, son, or uncle and niece. When you say uncle in the Asante kingdom, mm -hmm. it's not a brother, a father's brother but your mother's brother is your uncle. My mother's brother. So your okay, mother's okay. brother is your uncle, your father's brother is also your father, not your uncle. Because of the matrilineal and the extended system of family we practice. Yes, that I understand. All right, then also, when you go, we have a lot of regalia that you also have the king in his battle dress. The battle dress explains the king's dress the king used to put on during war times. In the olden days, it is the Asante Himi, who is the commander-in-chief of the Asante army. And also we have the queen who led the Asante to rebel against the British in 1900. That's the last British Asante war led by a woman called Nanaya Asantoa, the queen of Ejusso. 
Uh, Joso is also located in the east, southeastern part of Asante Road, that is Accra Kumasi Road. Mm -hmm. So in 1900, when the British wanted to take the golden stool from the nation, it was Nana Ya Asantua who said no. When men are afraid, I, woman, will lead the Asantes to fight the British. So she commanded the Asante army for nine months war. Yes. In the course of the war, the replica stool was made to swear the British. Mm. And they took it away and later realized it was fake. They retained it. Yeah. But the actual golden stool is the symbolic essence of the Asante kingdom. Yes. It was not made by man, but it was conjured by a powerful priest called Konfanochi. And Konfanochi was a priest Asante had. He conjured the golden stool from the skies on Friday. Mm -hmm. So we call it Sikaja Kofi, which Kofi. means that the stool was born on Friday. Kofi. The stool is a king himself, mm -hmm. which always sits on a chair. The mm -hmm. Asante do not sit on the golden stool. Mm. He is to protect the stool of the nation. Mm -hmm. So the core mandate of the king is to protect the golden stool of the nation because it is believed to be the soul mm -hmm. and the unity of the Asante kingdom. So till this day, that stool is still on a chair, yes. sitting there All in right. place. It is in the Asante kingdom. Yes. And when we bring it out, we place it on a, a, a special chair yes. because it is a king himself. Yes. Any question? No, 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 I think it's a rich history. All right, then also we have a lot of things. Uh, there was a war that happened since 1764 between Asantes and the people of Banda. This happened when women of Asante used to travel from one area to another. Present day Cote d'Ivoire, that place is called Buntuku, to trade. On their returning to Kumasi, the man will send people to go and kill them. Hey, for what reason? Just that he just like them. He sent people to go and rob them. If you resist robbery, they kill you. Mm. So the king of Asante had the news, sent people to intervene. The people were killed. And that's why there was a war declared between the Asantes and the Banta. When they were defeated, the chief of that area called Rasa was beheaded. Mm -hmm. And they took him away. The head was made on top of the sword he used to be heading. Mm. He showed to the people that if this king didn't kill the Asante, and Asante won't retaliate. Mm -hmm. Then a lot of artifacts the Asante King has received. One of the artifacts is the Surinamese artifact they brought from the Southern American continent yes. to trade the direct ancestry from here. And last two years, the Asante King was in Suriname. The 16th king is called Osei Tutu the second. Osei Tutu the second. The first so. king was called Osei Tutu the first. Yeah. And do you know why Osei Tutu the second? Because no. he was in line maybe? And because? He has come back again. He so has reincarnated. Reincarnated. Okay, and this okay. Time, he's not using war. Yeah. But what is he using? Diplomacy and other things to expand the Asante King. And the Asante King had a lot of work. He has a charity foundation nationwide mm -hmm. called Otun for Charity Foundation. And this charity foundation is able to cater for brilliant but needy students. Mm -hmm. And he has been a core point of peace in Ghana election. I can boldly say. A lot of election has held in Ghana, and the king has been the core point of peace. If not that, he called various political parties yeah. to sit down and make sure that during election time there will be peace. Yes. And this year, 2020, there is going to be an election, and the king has played a huge role, still playing a huge role, making sure there's peace and stability in the coming election. So the Asante stand for peace. Which is He's the king good. of yeah. Asante, but a lot of tribes see him to be the king of all. Yeah. Any question? No, no, no. All right. So in absence of any question, then I will say a big thank you very much <laughs> for paying us a nice visit at Mencia Palace Mencia. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much. You. That was the video. I hope you've learned a lot from uh, the interview we had with Mr. Achampong. It was nice. It was a fun experience. And there's a lot of history here. And no, it's not allowed to take pictures or videos inside. So we really respect that. So for any chance, if you're coming to Ghana, if you're coming to Kumase, visit this place to learn a lot about the Ashanti. So Jane, did you like it? Yes. Yeah? What do you like about it? No, what, um, I, what I was scared of is I always saw doors and I, and I thought it was real, so that's what I was scared of. But the statues? Yeah. Yeah, they look real, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment and share with as much possible people as you know of. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.